our first guest for movies like uh, Ramona and Beezus and the Kissing Booth trilogy. You would think by the third one they'd at least be doing some light groping, but no. <laughs> anyway, she is now swapping kissing for kicking ass in the action-packed fairy tale The Princess. It premieres Friday on Hulu. Please welcome Joey King. <laughs> A rumor that you um that you like me is that true yeah yes yes that's true that's they... why i wanted you to be here on my very special hosting guest week so nice i requested you i know I, I heard that and i was like surely not well i saw you in that really screwed up movie the act where you were basically poisoned by your mother right uh patricia arquette did you guys see the act yeah. Yeah. And I just thought, wow, that was just a phenomenal acting job. And so I'm so excited you have something coming out. And um, I'm so excited to hear that you're uh, newly engaged. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, wow. Read it and we fish it. Yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, I'm not yeah, I, mean, I know you are excited. I can tell. I you can't should stop be excited. staring at it. I cannot stop staring at it. It's like the, oh, it's so pretty. Oh, dear. So, how recent is this? Uh, he proposed on our three-year anniversary, which was February 2nd. Um, it's February 2nd, 2022, 2222, which, um, <laughs> and I was so, I'm, so, I'm just like, I get so giddy when I think about it. I just like start crying when I think about our wedding. I'm so happy. Are you, aren't you also 22 years old? I am 22. So 22, 22, 22. I didn't even, geez, I didn't well, even think hello. about that part. I know, I didn't even think about that. Well, I can do other math for you as well. <laughs> and who's this man that you're marrying? Um, his name is Stephen Pyatt. You mentioned the act. He was actually, that's how we met. He was a director on the act. And um, I pursued him and I asked him, I waited till the end of shooting to ask him out, but uh, to my delight, he was interested as well. And so now we're getting married. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> and did you, did you do one of those proposals where you film everything so that you can play it back on Instagram or for your family? <laughs> actually, okay, so he, he like set up like a self timer camera, and we were we were in the desert taking photos together. And then I started like shooting make believe hoops, and I was just sitting in the corner of the desert, the corner of the desert, just being like Kobe. And then he's like uh, Joey, and he like turned around. He was on one knee, and our camera was sitting right there. And the camera stopped taking photos right when he got down on one knee. So we've got nothing. But honestly, it's okay. I really like that that moment was just for us. I'm okay with that. But isn't he no? <laughs> Isn't he a director? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a pretty bad sign if he can't. I know. The most important moment in his whole life, he screws up the camera work on? I, I, like, I have no words. I mean, he's, he's such an idiot, you know what I mean? Well, yeah, just, well, remember that on your wedding day. Such an idiot. <laughs> so now what happens? Now you have to play on, like, a bachelorette weekend and do all of the wedding things. I do. I, well, my sisters are going to be in charge of that bachelorette stuff, but I honestly, I'm a little nervous because my sister Kelly, my oldest sister, her plan before, because I turned 21 during the pandemic, she wanted to kidnap me, put a bag over my head and take me to Vegas. Well, that didn't happen. And because of that, I feel like she's going to like, I don't know, I feel like she's going to take me to a place where there's like a bunch of in my face and I really don't want to do that. I know. It's, that's so passe though, right? I don't, I don't, what is, I don't know what that word means. It means it's like out of <laughs> style. Like passe means like no one wants in their faces anymore. You know, I mean, it's basically how it is. Especially after Friday. We definitely don't want I don't faces. want any I'm, I'm just hoping that they, they keep it, I don't know. I mean, listen, they'll, they're gonna, whatever they do, I'll enjoy, but I just, I just don't really wanna go to one of those places. But if they take me there, I'll, I'll enjoy it. What about one of those like blow up penises where you have to sip out of the straw? Are you down with that? Cause, of course, oh. what am I boring? Like, oh, of okay. course I am down with well, that. Well, I'm just checking. I don't know what you're into. <laughs> what kind of You party? wanna find out? Yeah, yeah, I, oh, very sexual term. <laughs> Unexpected. Um, what kind of partying do you get up to? Like, you, do you like to party? Do you do anything more than alcohol, edibles? Are you interested in that? I'm very, uh, yes, I'm, a, I'm not a party girl, but I, I love me an edible. I have a, I've actually, <laughs> there was something I like wasn't planning on talking about tonight, but like, I think it's been, enough time has passed. I was never gonna tell this story. I, was, I never wanted to see the light of day. On my last day of filming Kissing Booth 2 and 3, I took an edible uh, while we were still filming. It's very unprofessional. I had like, 
I had like seven more setups left. I had seven more shots to do. And my friend Taylor, who played Marco, he wasn't working and he took one too. And I got like so violently high. <laughs> you know, you know? Up top, girl, up top. I love that. I love that. You know when you get high, like, I know. You know, like, you know the high, like when you're really high, all you know how to say is I'm so high. That's where I was at. I was yeah. so, and then I was like supposed to hang out with other people, but I just wound up sitting in my hotel room eating shortbread Walker cookies and then going to bed. I was the most well-rested out of everyone. Everyone was hungover. I slept great. It was, it, I, it was very unprofessional, but I don't think so. You know what I mean? I think once you have a job for a certain period of time, you've earned the right to have a little wiggle room with how you want to play it. It was like, I mean, if, if, if you're a fan of Kissing Booth, you know it's, I, I took it during the scene where me and my best friend Lee are on the boardwalk having a heart to heart about why I lied to him about college. I was just like, so effing high. <laughs> And did anyone, do you think anyone in the production, besides watching this tonight and finding out, do they, did anyone, was, were they on to you? Oh my God, my director's gonna find out tonight, because he did say to me, he was like, you okay, honey? Like, you're acting like a little, like, are you okay? And I was like, of course I was, then that made me so paranoid. And I was like, oh my God, everyone knows I'm, a, I'm so high. All I can think about is how high I am. <laughs> Is this the same director that proposed to you that you're marrying? No, different oh, director. Okay, okay. No, no. Okay, different guy. Good. Different yeah. One. Sometimes I'm so high at my house that my dogs look at me. You're you know? like, who am and I they, marrying? And they, and yeah, they, no. Well, they look at me and they're like, "Why are you in charge of us?" You know? <laughs> when I'm high, I feel like my dogs and I are like on the same level. I feel like I'm like, "Oh, now I get it." Now I know what it's like to be you. Yeah. I feel like that when I do mushrooms. I feel like when I do mushrooms, everyone else is also on mushrooms. And then I think, what a glorious world. That's you how know? I feel when I do mushrooms. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> we will have more with Joey King after this. Enough. <laughs> That's a badass. I like watching that. That must have felt really good. How does it feel to kick a man's ass like that? Oh my God, it feels so good. I'm actually, that's one of my favorite scenes too, because it was our one -er. Like that was all in one take. And uh, that was like so much fun to prepare for. I loved making this movie. It was like so, fair. I didn't know I had all that fight in me, but I do. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. It's fun to know as a woman that like you have a lot of inner strength that we don't necessarily always tap into, right? I was very, I was actually very nervous about making this movie. I, I've never trained for fighting before, stunt training. And so like doing this, I feel like I was so insecure about it. And then I really found my stride and became super confident with my fight skills. And I was just so happy with it. And you can't do a scene like that high. So you've never been high during that. <laughs> oh, so let's oh. talk about some more drugs. <laughs> Let's just keep talking. While we're on the subject, let's just keep talking about <laughs> drugs. Um, there was actually one day, it was one of my... <laughs> oh, well, well, hang on, no, just wait. I want to tell you what happened. I woke up at four in the morning and I was like, oh, I started crying, oh my God, my back, I threw out my back and I was like, I don't know what happened. And I had a big fight scene that day, but I went to set and I like, couldn't even like turn like this. And so I talked to the medic. I was like, I don't know what to do. Like, I just need some relief. And so they were like, well, here is this. It's a muscle relaxer. And I was like, oh. But everything was in Bulgarian, because that's where we shot the movie. And I was like, I don't know what's in this. I, can't, I couldn't read any of it. So I was like, Godspeed. I'll I took it. I was uh, yet again so high at work. <laughs> and, and I did some of my best fighting that day. I really did. I kept watching the monitor after each take because I was just soaring. And I was like, wow, I am killing this. I am crushing it. And did you ever find out what you took? Was it a quaalude? I don't know. I don't think they make quaaludes anymore, but I once took a quaalude and it felt, I felt like I could do anything and also nothing at the same time. I felt, 
I mean, I, my back wasn't hurting. I felt great. And how did your back feel the next day? Um, it was pretty messed up, actually. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know what happened. I mean, you can't really make a movie like that and be like, oh, I'm gonna come out unscathed. Like, things are gonna happen. Yeah, absolutely. Well, good for you. That's Thank cool. You. That's badass. You. So you have a movie coming out with uh, Brad Pitt, right? I do. I'm a, I, it's been a busy summer for me. I'm very excited. Yeah, well, Brad Pitt is not attractive, so you have nothing to look forward to. <laughs> no. No. I find him annoying, actually. Do you? Yeah. Well, just his looks. I'm not impressed. No. I, his, his stupid, stupid, beautiful face is so stupid and dumb. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a good thing you're engaged. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. It's a good thing. Even though his face is so dumb. And yeah. <laughs> so what's this movie about? Is it um, it's called... I've seen the preview, Eric, yeah, in called, the theaters. Yeah, Bullet Train. Yeah. Well, it's a fun one, I'm telling you. It is so, I, first of all, I mean, all jokes aside, obviously Brad Pitt's the coolest and this movie is so cool. I get to play an assassin in an action movie led by Brad Pitt. It's like, that's, it's, whew, it's like Hollywood. Like everything that encompasses the word Hollywood is like what you imagine that to be. And it was so much fun to make. Yeah, I bet it was. I just still can't believe you're 22 years old and you're getting married. <laughs> I mean, by the time I get married, I'll like be 23, maybe a little older. I know, but yeah, stretch out that engagement as long as you can. You know what I mean? We I don't want to seem it. like maternal because I'm not, but I just want to. Not. Yeah, but I, yeah, you want to stretch out that engagement. 22 is so young. Well, everyone keeps asking me like, when's the wedding? When's the wedding? Literally, we called my grandmother after we got engaged, and I'm like, Grandma, I'm engaged, and she was like, when's the wedding? And I was like. Instagram. I like just got engaged. And I always tell people, I'm like, you know, you're only, well, you hope you're only engaged once, you don't know. But you know, it's, it's a, uh, I, I love being engaged. Once you're married, you're married forever, but you're only engaged for a little bit of time. And so right. And then we're do, you guys, it. do you guys live together yet? Or are you? We do. We live together. So it's, you're living in sin. Yeah. Well, yes. <laughs> we are having all the premarital sex. Oh um, my God. Cover your ears, everybody. Oh my God. Don't say that. The Republicans okay. are going to come and oh kidnap my God. you. Oh, where are they? Oh, my goodness. You said the word. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, well, you're just a delight to talk to. Congratulations on all of your success. I'm Thank so excited you. for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Joey. Uh, the Princess premieres Friday on Hulu, and we're going to be right back with Megan Stalter. Ta -da -da.